Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it you're studying towards your grade seven, your grade eight or your grade nine. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time there are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. Hello guys, I thought of bringing to you the algebraic expressions and in this case I'm bringing in multiplication and I'm comparing it with addition. In the previous sections of the lessons you can check out where I deal with addition only and subtraction. But now I want to bring across what multiplication does and how it changes the whole thing when it comes to algebraic expressions. Now let us look at this first one. We did an example like this to say if you are adding x plus x plus x we say it is like you have an i mean it actually means there is a one there there is a one there there is a one so you are saying one plus one plus one which is three and you can see the variable we are dealing with here is x so your answer becomes in this case three x as i said adding them together is like you're adding cows together or you're adding sheep together so it would be one cow which is the x plus another cow which is the x plus another cow which is the x so you have got three cows in this case now how about when we start multiplying now if i'm saying you are adding animals you can see that if i say multiply animals in real life it becomes actually something that is not usually possible so multiplication most of the time it works in other instances but when it comes to dealing with natural things like counting spoons or multiplying spoons it works but not in a way that you can actually picture it as addition and subtraction is concerned but now how do you multiply when we are multiplying for example this uh, second example says x times x times x remember when we're adding it was 3x but when we are multiplying look at the difference you have got your one there your one your one so you're saying one times one times one it still remains as one then now the x there it will be x now because there are three x's that are multiplying it's written as a power which is to the power three now in the first one it was three x but in the second one it is one x to the power of three always remember these differences when you are multiplying similar things they change that number becomes a power but when you are adding similar things the number is a variable meaning it is the number before that particular x there's another example says we must multiply 3x times 5x times 6 so when i'm multiplying i'm first focusing on the numbers 3 5 and 6 and i need to multiply them i can use my calculator in this case to say 3 times 5 times 6 see i'm getting a 90 so you focus on that number first and say when i multiply the numbers part i'm getting a 90 what about the x is the same thing you're multiplying your x times another x times another x so you write and say x how many did you multiply you multiplied three then those three becomes an exponent don't forget it is the power whenever you are multiplying also let's move on when uh it says multiplication compared with addition again in the first example i'm having x times four times y whenever i'm multiplying remember i said there is a number which is a one x there even in y there is a number which is one so what i'm doing is i'm multiplying first one times four times one which is equal to four now x and y if you multiply them you simply go get x y because x starts and then y follows so it becomes 4 x y now let's look at addition i'm supposed to add on this particular scenario now i'm supposed to add 
x plus 4 plus y. Remember I told you previously to say, if they say to you, add sheep plus cow plus, let's say, um, goat or a, a dog, you cannot add a sheep with a cow and a dog to get sheep, cow, dog. You can only add things that are the same. So if I say x plus 4 plus y, this is as far as it can go. You cannot simplify it any further. So this is the final answer. It remains as x plus 4 plus y. I cannot add it further, but look at the multiplication. When I'm multiplying, I can multiply 4 times x to get 4x times y to get 4xy. So this is the difference that happens whenever you're adding and when you're subtracting. Now, students are always confused between the addition and subtraction. Now, when they come to this part in an exam and you find that they didn't give them, um, for example, a question comes like this and they say, add that. So now a student will be confused to say, um, something must be done here. I must do something, but there is nothing else you can do here. It is complete. Please don't be tempted. That is the furthest it can go. It is X plus four plus Y. Why? Because X is different from four and four is different from Y and the two and the three cannot be combined. Let us move on to the other examples. If I am supposed to uh, same same thing with addition and multiplication again, I'm having x y times y x. Now, uh, as I said previously, this y x. If you follow the alphabet, x starts and y follows, so it's it is the same as y x. But anyway, when we are multiplying x y times y x, I can take the first x is same as saying x times x y because in the center between x and y there is a dot meaning x is multiplying with y and also there there is a dot meaning y is multiplying with x so in actual fact it's like i'm having in this case x times y times the bigger times y times x that is what actually it means in this case but now when you bring these together you will have x times x which is times y times y so when you are multiplying you write your x and count how many they are there are two which becomes a power as well as y there are how many of them there are two which becomes a power so the answer becomes x squared and y squared how about when i'm supposed to add these two together when i'm adding now the story changes in as much as um, the, even here, the placeholder, remember, was a 1. So the answer still remains as 1x squared y squared. But it doesn't matter even if you leave a 1. But when we're adding, it becomes a different story. I now have to consider the 1 and the 1 there. That's what I must add first as the numbers, 1 and 1. Now, the first question actually that I need to ask myself is, are these identical? Now, x, y, and y, x, as I said before, y, x, you can start with x and y so that it becomes x, y plus x, y. So in this case, I will have x, y plus x, y. And the number before is a 1, which is the coefficient, and the number before the second one is a 1. So if I say 1 plus 1, I get a 2. Now, my variable or my coefficient here is x, y. So that is how far this can go. Compare the answers. In the first one, when you're multiplying, they became powers, which is x squared, y squared. In the second one, it became a coefficient, which is 2xy. Lastly, when you're still dealing with uh, multiplication and, and, and addition comparisons, let's look at the first one. It says xy times x squared y times xy squared times yx. When you are dealing with this um, part, what you need to focus on is you look at your axis because the answer can just be calculated directly from this. You just ask yourself, I've got an x there, it's multiplying with that x squared. I've got another x there multiplying with that x. So when you are given 
um, things is there is the x which is one multiplying with two of them now there are three multiplying with one which makes them four multiplying with another one which makes them five so it becomes x to the power of five it is more explained when you're dealing with exponents but i'm just making it simple like this you just ask yourself how many x am i multiplying you are multiplying one now here there are two here there is one and there is one if you add one plus two plus one plus one you get a five similarly with the y you have got your one there you have got another one which there are two you have got two of them which is four you have got one of them which is five so it will become also y to the power of five you can see when you're multiplying it becomes powers how about when we're adding if i have got x y plus x squared y plus x y squared plus y x i have to consider things that are the same now x y and y x remember we said they are the same because it's a matter of you the first one they started with x the second one they started with y but you can see that these are the same so it will be x y i put a placeholder one there plus y x as i said is the same as x y i'm bringing it together because they are similar the second one is you look at x squared y the power is with the x in the second one the power is with the y so it means these two are different you can't do anything you can't add them because uh they are not the same plus x y squared you just have to leave them like that in as much as they look similar but don't forget that power to say it one is in x and the other is in y automatically makes them different then you got your first one one x plus i mean one x y plus one x y one plus one is two x y then plus x squared y plus x y squared as far as it can simplify this is the end of this particular expression as far as adding is concerned do not add any further it can go as far as this don't be tempted now to say two there is a one there and there is a one you say two plus one plus one then you're going to come up with a four and you get up funny stuff now it is final like that i hope this was making sense to you and again join me where i do more examples whether we're adding or subtracting or um uh, multiplying so that you can get more comfortable with this thank you